Hello everyone, welcome to What The Math, this is Anton, and today we're going to fly through our galaxy, the Milky Way, using Space Engine and using this 360 video. So if you have a smartphone or a device that can actually rotate the screen, you can probably rotate it right now and see everything around you in three dimensions. Now, I've heard that this actually works really great with things like VR gear or um, Google Cardboard. If you have one, you may want to actually put it on right now. Anyway, so we're moving at the speed of light right now and we're leaving our planet Earth. We're about to see our sun appear and disappear as well as we're approaching speed that's about 10 times the speed of light. And there goes our sun. Alright, so I'm actually increasing my speed quite dramatically here and you're even about to see other stars start moving across the view right now. And this is a speed of about 100 light years per second. Actually pretty high speed when you think about it. I'm going to increase this to several thousand light years per second because this is the only way we can actually finish this video relatively quick. And hopefully this gives you an idea of how large and how humongous our galaxy actually is. There was a nebula uh, that we just passed by. There's quite a lot of various um, constellations, a lot of various nebulas that we're passing through. And we're about to enter the center of the Milky Way with a very, very high concentration of various stars and um, various constellations as well. Now, somewhere in the middle of this blob, we just passed our uh, a, a huge black hole called Sagittarius A, which is essentially the central black hole um, around which everything in our galaxy orbits. And we're now on the other side of the Milky Way, and we're going to approach a star and a planet that I've discovered uh, earlier on that actually had life on it. So let's slow down a little bit and slowly make our way to this next star and the next planet. And so this is the star, I'm going to approach it uh, relatively fast at first, whereas the speed is still um, several light years per second. Uh, but as I slow down and as I come closer to this particular system, you'll notice that it has a very unusual, very beautiful comet. As a matter of fact, it's a very large comet, probably the biggest I've ever seen in the space engine, which is why I really wanted to do a video about this particular solar system. So there's a comet, there's a lot of um, gas giants, there's a lot of planets in this solar system, but most importantly, there is a planet around um, this red dwarf that actually has life on it. So there's the comet that comes into view, your view right now, and it's a very beautiful but also huge, huge comet. And the planet that's coming into view, I don't really have a name for it yet, and I don't think it had a name in the game, but let's just call it Bob, because why not? Anyway, so here comes Bob, and we're going to approach, approach it really, really slowly. The speed is now back to one light uh, year per second, and even slower now. And you'll notice that it's a very beautiful planet, but it's actually, it's, it's actually relatively cold here. It's technically a cold desert, so everything on the surface is actually frozen water, but it does have unicellular and multicellular life, which suggests that maybe that life is underneath all of these ice sheets that you're about to see when we come closer to the surface. And because this planet is actually procedurally generated, you will get to see some incredible detail as soon as we get closer to the surface. So even now you can kind of see the ridges and the mountains below you. Um, and as we get closer and closer, these ridges will become even more detailed and more beautiful as well. And here comes the surface. All right, landing. Anyway, let's actually do something else now. Let's get out of the solar system and fly out of our galaxy and see what our galaxy looks like in three dimensions from the outside. So we're going to do the opposite now. We're going to leave the solar system 
and very very slowly increase our speed to the point where we're moving really really fast again but on the way out of the uh, milky way galaxy just so we can actually see what it looks like from the side where we leave uh, the galaxy In case you didn't realize, all of these little specks of light that you see, each of these is actually a star with its own system, its own planets, possibly uh, dozens of planets and possibly hundreds of different objects orbiting around um, each of these stars. And each star is essentially um, a world of its own with potentially life on it. As a matter of fact, in Space Engine, if you look for nearby stars, you'll usually find at least a dozen planets um, with life on them. Um, so now we're going to be leaving the galaxy, we're moving uh, at several thousand light years per second and you'll get to see the Milky Way as it looks um, from the outside. So for those aliens living in Andromeda Galaxy, this is what our beautiful galaxy looks like. And this is Milky Way in all of its glory. Anyway, thank you so much for watching guys, hopefully you enjoyed this 360 video, and in the next video we're going to explore something else and talk about something a little bit different. Thank you for watching, please subscribe if you still haven't, share this video with someone who likes space, and like this video if you've actually enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video, give me later, bye bye.